Hi, this is Arthur, and this is a summary of the story of the World Quest Kavarena of Good and Evil released in Genshin Impact version 3.6. The Traveler and Paimon find a drum in the desert and bring it to Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. The drum seems related to a commission from the Academia. There is currently a phenomenon known as the Sign of Apaosha that is located in the Northern Desert. In that area, there is a rogue Darshan known as the Nagarjanites that separated from the Academia 500 years ago. The Academia wants someone to go investigate the phenomena, and the Traveler takes up the commission. The Traveler then heads to the desert to meet the Nagarjanites. They eventually meet Pyrrho, a member of the Shamania or the Order of Skeptics. Side note, the Order of Skeptics are the Nagarjanites, but they find that term offensive. The Traveler tries to show Pyrrho the drum, but Pyrrho tries to fight them instead. Just then, a Pari named Sarush shows up and stops the fighting. Side note, Pari are sentient spirits made of Kavarana energy. Sarush then decides to bring them to the Pari leader. They then meet Nasajuna, who is not the Puri leader. Nasajuna is the vision Anapati, which is pretty much the sage of the Order of Skeptics. Nasajuna tells them that long ago, Kanria, also known as Dari, built a facility that could access other realms. Monsters from other realms broke through and created a rift called the Tunigi Hollow and spread all over Tavat. The appearance of the sign of Apaosha represents the rift growing in power. Nagarjuna, the first vision Anapati, worked with the Puri to seal the rift and extinguish the sign of Apaosha, but the symbol appeared again. Samurg, a divine bird created by Greater Lord Rukudavada, then drank from the Amrita Pool and turned itself into Kavarena energy. That energy spread over the land and cleansed it from the contamination from the rift. This sacrifice is what led to the birth of the Puri and other forms of life. Now that the sign of Apaosha has appeared again, Sarush says that resolving it is the responsibility of the Puri and that she wants to sacrifice herself like Samurg did. Nasajuna says that in order to do so, he needs to perform the rite of Chinvat, so he's coming along too. They then go to Vorukasha Oasis and speak to a Puri named Zervan in hopes of receiving the Twin Horn Chaplet, which is needed for the Rite of Chinvat. Zarush then tells the story of Harvest Tokum, which is the drying tree stump in the middle of the oasis. 500 years ago, the god of the Puri fought during a great disaster and died. The god's body turned into a magical pool of water known as the Amrita Pool, and the Lord of Verger used the water to create a giant tree stump that helped seal the rift and cleanse the land. Side note, the Lord of Verger is likely Greater Lord Rukudavada, and the God of the Pari is likely the now-deceased former Hydro Archon. They go and talk to Zervan, who agrees to give Sarush a twin horn chaplet if they bring back two other Pari, Rashnu and Mihir. The Traveler performs some tasks, one including drums, and take Rashnu and Mihir back to the Oasis. Once there, Sarush performs a hymn with Zervan, and she receives a twin horn chaplet. They then go and retrieve the Great Songs of Kavarena, also needed for the rite. After collecting all the great songs, Nasajuna reveals his true colors. Turns out, Nasajuna was working with the Abyss Order and actually wants to unseal the rift. Nasajuna believes that doing so will reveal some truth about the reality beyond Tevat's skies. Nasajuna then calls some members of the Abyss Order and the Traveler defeats them, though Nasajuna escapes. They return to Zervan, who tells them to enter the Harvest Tokum and perform the Rite of Abzor on Gao Karina, which is a giant lotus within the Harvest Tokum. This will cleanse Gao Karina of its contamination and cleanse the rest of the land. The gang enters Harvest Tokum and does exactly as told, getting rid of the sign of Apaosha and cleansing the land. They return to Zervan and he tells them a story about the time when he was born and the world was filled with filth from the Tunigi Hollow and monsters. Zervan then met a masked Conrian, likely Danesleaf, and a one-armed sage from the desert. Together they perform the rite of Abzor and cleanse the land just like the Traveler just did. Afterwards, the Kanrian left with a young person, very likely the Traveler's sibling, and the Sage left into some ruins. The humans who survived the disaster became the Order of Skeptics, and the Puri remained at the Oasis. Afterwards, the Traveler returns to Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild and collects their reward. And that is the end of this quest in this video. If you've liked what you've seen here, please like, comment, and subscribe.